welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is good, YouTube? This is your host, Lawrence, over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the channel. Today, of course, is the Hot 10 Breakdown of the Week, where I go through the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app, and we break them down here on the channel one by one, letting you guys out there know if I'm buying these books at these prices or staying the hell away. But before we get started in the video, like always, I want to remind you guys, if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, do me a favor, hit that sub button for me. You guys know once we hit 5,000 subs, I'm giving away an Iron Man 1. Don't forget to smash that like button and check out all these new awesome shirts I have for sale down on the link below and the description of every video just like this awesome batman t-shirt with that said let's get into this week's breakdown at the 10 spot this week is a copy of marvel premiere number 12 and the first appearance of lilia queen of the gypsies there's a rumor out there saying she has been cast in the new agatha harkness series coming to disney plus and a cgc 9.2 just sold last week for $90 of 25% since 2021. We also had another slab sale of a 9.0 sell for $74 up 28% since December. You guys know I'm not all about the spec here on this channel. I would not be spending money on this book right here right now. Again, if you probably wanted to spec on it way back when when they announced this show, I could see it. But right now, I think it's too late. I'm not a buyer. Coming in at number 9 this week is a copy of Giant Size Chillers, Dracula number 1, and the first appearance of Lilith, Daughter of Dracula. And the spec up there that they have cast her in the upcoming Blade movie. Either way, a CGC 6.5 just sold last week for $185, bucks, up a crazy 62% since November. But we also had a slab 5.5 sell for 90 bucks, which is up 23% since November. As I said before, I'm not all about the spec here in this channel. I'm not buying this book. I remember when they were saying Dracula was going to show up in the Werewolf by Night series. Didn't happen. I'm not buying this here right now. I'm staying away. At number 8 this week is one of my all-time favorite Batman keys. It is a copy of Batman number 181 and the first appearance of Poison Ivy. You guys know whenever I talk about this book, I want to own it with a pin-up only. I'd be staying away from all incomplete books. And a CGC 7.5 just sold the prior week for $2,750, up 9% over that average. We also had a CGC 5.0 sale for $940, up 6% over that average. I'm finally happy to see this book get some due. One of my favorite early Batman issues because it's true first appearance of this character. A lot of these Silver Age Batman villains, it's not their true first appearance, only their first Silver Age appearance. This is a true one. I'm all over this book at all times if you want to own it. At the seventh spot on this list is a copy of Fantastic Four number 67 and the first cameo appearance and origin of him who later goes on to become Adam Warlock. Of course, Adam Warlock is finally showing up in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I can't wait to see that movie. I'm all hyped up for it. And a CGC 9.6 just sold last week for $5,280 up 12% over that average we also had a slab 5.0 sale sell for 200 bucks up three percent over that average there was all this hype way back when when we all knew he was going to show up in the next guardians of the galaxy movie unfortunately that was like five years ago you probably should have owned this book by now and then sold it as well i'll be definitely staying away from this one if you want to hold it in the collection for a really long time you make it a bump other than that it's a cool book but right here right now i'm staying away at the sixth spot on this leak is a massive key. It is Incredible Hulk number 181 and the first full appearance of Wolverine. There I said it, the first full appearance. And a CGC 8.0 just sold the prior week for $8,099 up 20% over the average. We also had a slab 4.5 sell for $3,500 up 8% over that average. Man, this book has taken a beating over the past year. Finally happy to see it start creeping up again as we get closer to the next iteration of the X-Men in the MCU. You guys know I'm 100% a buyer of this book. Just be careful. If you're going to buy it right now, you got to be a long-term holder. If you want to sell it within the next year to five years, then I'd be staying away. 
at number five this week is the book that was number one last week it is a copy of star wars number one and the first appearance of our favorite star wars characters luke skywalker darth vader c-3po princess leia and of course r2d2 there was a slab 9.8 copy that sold last week for four thousand five hundred and sixty bucks only up a measly one percent over that average we also had a cgc 9.0 sale for 420 bucks up 10 percent over that average i said last week and i'll always say about this book if you're a big star wars fan it's a must own issue in any grade that you could afford if you're not a huge star wars fan i'm probably not buying it here right now but either way a must own book for any star wars fanatic out there Coming in at the fourth spot this week is a copy of Saga of the Swamp Thing, number 37, and the first appearance of John Constantine. Of course, there's rumors out there that Keanu Reeves is going to reprise his role as Constantine in another sequel to that film. However, I'm hearing some rumors out there that it may actually get squashed by James Gunn. Remains to be seen. Either way, a CGC 9.8 just sold last week for $2,300, bucks, up 31% over the average we also had a slab 9.0 sell for 375 bucks up 14 percent over the average i know a lot of people out there love this character and love this book but i'm a little skeptical right here right now when i'm hearing rumors that they may squash that third constantine film let me know down in the comments what you guys think is this book a buy is it a sell i'm not too sure i think long term you're going to be fine if you want to own it but for now i'm saying staying away Coming in at number three this week is a copy of Super Mario Brothers number one and the first limited series featuring stories inspired by the Nintendo video game franchise and a CGC 9.6 just sold last week for 825 bucks up 25% over the average we also had a slab 9.2 sale sell for 255 bucks up six percent over the average again this is a nice nostalgia book i said it last week i'm not spending this kind of money on a book like this this to me is a 20 to a 50 dollar book in any grade the money that it's going for right now is absolutely ridiculous i'd be 100 percent be staying away at the two spot on this week's list is a copy of star wars heir to the empire number one and the first appearance of admiral thrawn and a cgc 9.6 just sold last week for 435 bucks up 22 percent over the average we also had a cgc 9.2 sale for 172 dollars up eight percent over the average you guys know i say it all the time i'm not a modern star wars collector but if you are just be very careful right here right now with this book it may be up now but in the future it may go back down if you're a long-term holder i think it's okay if short term I'd be staying away. And at the top spot this week and out of nowhere, it is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 41 and the first appearance of the Rhino, one of the most undervalued covers out there in the Amazing Spider-Man run. And a CGC 6.5 just sold last week for 800 bucks, up 18% over that average. We also had a CGC 6.0 sell for 645 bucks, up 12% over that average. You know why this book is hot right now? There's rumors out there, the Craven movie that's going to be coming out by Sony, that the Rhino is going to be the main antagonist in that film. I saw some leaked photos, not too sure if it's accurate or not. Who knows? All I can tell you this, Sony destroys everything that I touch. I want to own this book. I love the cover. One of my favorite Amazing Spider-Man keys, but I'm not buying this book right here, right now because of that news, because of that movie. I want to own the book because it's an Amazing Spider-Man Silver Age key. I hope that helps. With that said, that is the list for the week. Some new books finally on this list, but it is now time for my best buy of the week. And you guys know what it is. It is 181. But guess what? It's not the 181 you think. It is a copy of Batman number 181 and the first appearance of Poison Ivy. To me, I know Hulk 181 is probably going to be everybody's number one book on this list, but it has come so far, so quick over the last three years. It's not the book that I want to buy right here, right now. I'm going to say if you're going to go out and spend some cash, the Batman 181 is the buy. Hope you guys enjoyed this list. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Commons Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.